Hello guys, welcome back to Tech Projects. I am back with another video. So in this video, we are going to see how to create bottom navigation menu with the help of Material 3 guidelines. So if you don't know what is Material 3, so Material 3 is the latest design principles of Android. If you want to design any kind of Android application, then you should follow this. And Material 3 contain lots of exclusive designs for your application, which take your design of your application onto the next level. So before starting this video, let's see a demo what we are actually going to make. So for this, I have to open my phone and I, I open this application. This is the material bottom navigation. So you can see this is the bottom navigation menu we are going to design in today's video. So this is the same menu, which is same as like Google, Gmail or phone log or other thing. So we are going to follow that same principles. And also you can see this bottom navigation menu contain a badge as well. And also you can see it contain a ripple effect, it contain a select, uh, select, you can see if an item is selected then it is filled, otherwise it is unfilled. So we are going to create this kind of bottom navigation menu and I am going to tell you each and everything about this, like how you can customize it entirely. So watch the video till end. So don't for the delay, now let's start the video and if you don't like the video till now, then please like the video and if you don't subscribe to the channel till now, then please subscribe to the channel. So now let's start the video. So first of all open your Android studio and click on file and then new then new project empty activity click on next you can select whatever you want so i just giving him material bottom navigation menu tutorial and you can implement this bottom navigation with the with using fragments or activity it is your choice so it is totally depend on you so our project is built successful and we are ready to write the code. So first of all, if we want to use material three in our project, then we need to come inside our build.gradle module app and here we need to add the dependency, latest dependency of material. So I open this build.gradle module app and I copy this entire dependency. So you can also copy paste it manually. It is your choice and paste the dependency and then click on sync now to sync the project. So dependency set up correctly. Now it is, uh, we can't use that material 3 by only setting the dependency. We also need to make some changes in our themes.xml. So open your themes. So layout values and themes. So here it is our themes.xml. And you can see here we have themes of material component. But we don't need material component. We need material 3 components. So that's why we need to make some change here. So just type here theme.material3 night no action bar. So replace it by using this and remove this extra one so now this theme set up correctly make same change here material 3 dot day night dot no action bar and remove this extra space so this themes also set up correctly and we are ready to write the code so first of all we have to write the code inside our activity main xml file delete this text to you change the constraint layout to linear layout or whatever the layout you want to use in your project it is totally depend on you and here we need to implement this bottom navigation menu so for implementing the bottom navigation menu first of all we need to create a menu file like how many items we need in our bottom navigation as you can see i have a three item but you can add as maximum five items and minimum one or two items so right click here resource then new then you click on android resource file just give the file name menu and resource type should be menu click on ok so you can see this menu.xml is created successfully and here we need to add as many components which we want inside our menu. So for this taken open packet just type here item and give any id to this item. So let us suppose you want to set on click listener on these items so that's why I just give the id name here id1 page1 enable by default it should be enabled through and now we need to give an icon what icon we want on this so leave it for now and at last just give a title what title you want to show on your menu so i just want to show page one now copy this entire thing Control c copy paste it and paste it so we can see now we have a three items so this is our page two this is our page three change the id as well this is our page two id this is our page three id so this is done now we need to set an icon so we need to show two states of icon when it is selected and when it is not selected so for this first of all right click on drawable then new then click on vector asset first of all i need to import icons which icons i want to use so i just open the star border next finish and one more icon new vector asset and now this time i can go with star fill 
but you can also use different icon on different on a different items so if you have a three items then you can use three different type of icons it is totally depend on you i am going to use the same icons but the methodology is same now we need to create a drawable file to see which icon is selected which is icon is not selected so for that so i we need to right click on drawable resource file just give any file name so icon selection you can give any name and click on okay so inside this we will define the looking of the selected icon and unselected icon so first of all what we need to take we need to take a two items here so item and just type a drawable and first icon i want to use star border and when i want to show this if it is not selected state checked false if it is false then i want to show my star border and close this minimize it little bit so I, you can see it clearly so hope you understand you are able to see it clearly so minimize it now i need one more icon if it is in check true then on that time i want to use my normal star icon instead of star border which will filled one okay so this is drawable file is created successfully now if we have a three item and if you want to show different icon each time every time so you need to just create three drawable file for that icon now just add this travel file here icon selection icon selection icon selection so this is created successfully now our all work is finished now just we need to write the some xml code and some kotlin code or if you are using java then you need to write java code so take an open bracket just type here bottom navigation view set the layout with match parent high trap content it will be fine now we need to set the layout gravity bottom i want to set it to on bottom then label visibility and what is label so label is to show if you want to show a pop up of on bottom navigation then it is known as label so i you can select all labeled auto selected and un unlabeled it is your choice so i want to show it so i just select type here label now background so i want to use a white background so that's why i choose a white and here I need to use a background black so this is done now we need to add our app menu so app menu I want to add my menu file that's it. so you can see our bottom navigation implemented successfully now just give any id so we can access in our kotlin or java file so bottom navigation view now if you want to change any color you can also change ripple color you can also change icon color icon size it is totally depend on you it contains lots of customization you can change item text color pointer color everything you can customize it so you can explore by it on now open your main activity let's see how to set on click listeners on this and also how to change color or we can say icon on runtime so first of all assign the xml into java id so private let in it where and the variable name should be you can give any variable name but the type of variable should be bottom navigation view now assign the xml id to java id bottom navigation view find view id r dot id dot bottom navigation view now i want to show batch so if i want to show batch then uh, i have to set number on runtime like uh, how many numbers i need on my batch so we have a three item but it is your choice whether you want to show badge on each and every item but if i if you want to show only one badge on one item then you can also do it so the code for the batch to show the batch is first of all you need to create a variable for batch then you need to access the bottom navigation view then get or create batch and inside this you need to pass your menu id name so if it is your choice whether you want to show batch for page one page two on for all so I just want to show page on page one. So if you don't know what is page one, you can see this is the ID in our menu. So if you want to show badge on page two as well, then you need to just take an another variable and also assign it same as like this. Then after this, you need to type here badge dot is visible and pass it to true. And now you need to show what number you want to show on your badge. I just want to show 90 or whatever you want, you can show. So this is done. Now let us suppose you want to set on click listener and if you are trying to read documentation and if you are facing problem then don't worry I am going to solve that problem as well. 
so let's see how to add on click listener on our bottom navigation view bottom navigation view set on item click listener set on item select listener and inside this just pass your item remove this extra brackets now we have a when loop inside our kotlin so i can compare when item dot item id so i can traverse it and if first if it is equal to page one then you can perform whatever you want if user click on page one so first of all you need to return true and here you can do anything whatever you want you can show a toast you can perform any operation it is your choice now copy this paste it here paste it again here so this is page two page three you can do anything at and at last you just need to add an else so delete this else from here just add an else here and return false so in kotlin we have this thing and if it is then it is false so finally guys our application is ready now it's time to check or have whether the app is working or not if it is working fine then we'll end this video so before running the application first of all i think i done a mistake here so open your drawable file icon selection so instead of checkable i need to use a state checked instead of checkable we need to use state checked so now it is fine now let's run our application and see whether it is working so application will successful so you can see by default i am i am on page 1 then page 2 page 3 so you can see our application is working fine badge is also showing properly so i hope guys you learn something new in this video if you have any question if you have any query just comment down below please like the video please subscribe the channel please share the video if you have any question just comment down below so thank you guys see you soon in next amazing video thank you